Hello everyone, how are you today? Hope you are ready for weekend. Whether you are working or maybe chilling out, having fun, hope you, you will enjoy. And um, today actually I wanted to quickly talk uh, to you about style changes. I am now 34 and I feel that um, how I look at myself, my style and, and uh, my, my self-perception changed dramatically since my 20s, right? So um, today I actually decided to grab a magazine downstairs from the shop, like all the good look, uh, in which you can find all sorts of pictures of, um, you know, outfits and and uh, beauty tits and stuff like this. So, so a typical magazine. And um, even the, the way uh, I used to think, my thinking process in my 20s, when browsing magazines and, look, uh, and looks uh, in the magazines um, were different to, to the process, uh, uh, to, to what I think about now. So, um, for example, uh, on this page, I would think that, okay, you have different looks. I would think that, well, I like this first look, it's not bad, but I know it is actually not me anymore. This this sporty edge, not necessarily something that I would maybe uh, uh, more likely to wear in my late twenties rather than now. Then second look, I know that hmm, actually the, I don't like it because I know I would not look good in this. So I I really get to understand my body shape so well, what works, what not. That even though the look might maybe nice, I just know that I personally wouldn't look as good as this lady because I know that let's say I am not as curvy that this dress would not give my uh, uh, do any any job to make me feel better and look better uh, another one here uh, yeah again a few years ago I would think that oh my god I love it um, and I would love literally everything and I would uh, be get so confused with you know, all those beautiful clothes out there that I, I want to wear. And if I buy something, then then uh, soon I start to get bored and see something new and, and feel envy and, and that, oh my God, there are other beautiful things that I want to wear. So it is just lots of, lots of, um, uh, it was lots of, lots of, uh, you know, experiments and, and, and wandering and drifting. That's what it was. And now when I look at pictures like this, I think, that is that looks obviously flattering on her, but I wouldn't want to show my legs like that, because that's not something that that I consider as the number one thing I want to show, right? In my body, it's just about accepting, accepting what you've got best, and the other bits that you you are maybe pr more proud of, and and that's it, and that's the beauty uh, in it. So um, and also knowing your style aesthetic. I am not a bohemian chick. This look is not for me. And the last one, last last chick actually looks uh, quite uh, similar to me today in a way that I have uh, the Breton top too. Um, but again, I don't like uh, shoes like this because I like comfort. I don't think I would feel comfortable. And the same jacket, that's not necessarily my style. Uh, the rest is pretty good. So the, 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 the pace of establishing quickly what you don't like and why, and uh, knowing that there is no regret that there is no actually remorse or any bad feeling that yeah that looks all good but that's not something that i want to wear and that's not something that i will look that, that as good as i want and, and 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 that's beautiful that's beautiful like i said um uh in my 20s i would be just like oh my god this looks good that that looks good um and you just want not want all those looks without even thinking then you spend all those money and then you then you start to realize that uh something is not right but you don't know what and instead of thinking uh why this doesn't work what is wrong you just move on and buy more and more clothes this is the, the why we very often end up with so many clothes in our wardrobes and um not having a clue what our style actually is about and uh, again another page full of pictures um First one, again, like the cut, don't like that, it shows uh, legs. Second one, don't like culottes, who looks actually good in them? I don't know. Um, and maybe last one is pretty cool, um, but again, I know what I like exactly and why I don't 
like all of it. I don't maybe like the pattern necessarily. Um, I I pretty much like the rest. Um, the color I like. I like the the cut of the top because it would show my waist and I actually could look good in this. So it is such um, the easiness in breaking down what you don't like, what you like, uh, why, what you look good in you, what not, what fabric will work with your curves or no curves, um, what's going on. And this knowledge, this self-knowledge and self-awareness comes not only with age and wisdom, but actually with experimenting too. So I'm not saying that the whole process of experimenting with fashion in my 20s was um, out of point because it actually helped me a lot in cutting through the noise, in cutting through this whole bullshit, fast fashion and stuff. And actually this stealing, this nice calm and effortless um, uh, sense, state of mind that um, you just know what you are about and your, what your style is about. And it's just no fuss, no pretending that you are someone who we are not. And um, I really wonder what is your thinking process now. Um, grab any sort of magazine and I, I would love to know how you now judge um, looks uh, in your 30s. How, what's your, if you, I basically invite you to reflect on those changes, um, if any, between how you perceived your, your style, fashion, your habits and everything around to what's going on now, what's changed. Because I'm sure that this change is, is there and it's, it's great, it's positive, it's, 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 um, it's, it's just a different story. <laughs> but yes, um, other than that, um, have, a, have a good day and uh, I will speak to you more about changes in style because I think that I'm very passionate about this bit. Um, uh, and the whole process of changing and then needs for uh, having a wardrobe, having a, a style that actually reflects um, who you are now, who you are today, uh, your different needs, your different lifestyle. And um, if you haven't had a chance yet, please, uh, please um, sign up to my mailing list and uh, you will receive my guide called 10 Steps to Style Confidence. Uh, in which I actually take you through the steps to um, grow your confidence with your style, confidence with who you are, with your body shape, uh, and uh, feel happy, content, and confident with your style now, in your 30s. Um, all the best, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.